massive food. Um, do you know what? Do you know what it's time now for? It's time now for some food! Oh, oh no, it isn't. isn't. Just actually stop, because it's getting embarrassing now. <laughs> actually embarrassing. There is a master chef in the kitchen, our very own Lisa Sinaya. Oh, Lisa, it Hi smells guys. so good. I'm, I'm so excited. So, Christmas turkey burgers, who's into this? Yes, Me. Why not for All it, of you your favourite flavours, but it takes so little time at all. OK, oh, so we're using no. turkey mints. I'm using thigh mints, so I really like it. But you can oh. do the breast, you can do the thigh, you can combine it. Now, to make it really Christmassy, I'm adding dried sage. So you've got that sage hey, and onion got vibe. We've in here, we've got the cranberry. You've got it all going on. It's Christmas all... dinner in a burger. Exactly. In a lovely toasted brioche. Oh, I'm getting in there. So oh, onion salt with some potato. sage, oh, sweet potatoes and parsnips on the side. You can put in a little bit of garlic if you want some minced garlic just to add some more flavour. Now, I've kind of done a bit of both, dried sage and fresh sage. So you just get that really sage and onion yumminess. Bit of salt, bit of pepper. And then to bind it together, you want an egg yolk, right? Oh. And so Lay. you mix it all together. Lay. Do you like it? Lay. Talk me through it. Talk, are you getting the sage? Oh, it's, uh, all I need is someone to pour a cracker in there. <laughs> I didn't get you crackers. This I'm terrible. Is gorgeous. That cheese is so nice. See, I, I love I love turkey burgers all through the mm. year, but I thought, you know what? I want to make a little twist on it, make it really seasonal, really festive. And it's a lot less fat as well. It's, it's not as fatty. It's not as fatty. It doesn't <gasps> take hours and hours and hours. Cut that in half, Emery. Hold on a minute. Down, yeah. Look, we've, we've got. Uh, you're going straight I in. I mean, I've, I've kind straight of. In. Just do it. You've got to pick I've it up and eat right it all together. Don't just, dissect it. No, I'm not. Term. Look at it, though. Look at those Whoa. look at those wonky layers. <laughs> the layers over there's there. cranberry in the bottom, pancetta, the burger smells. Tell amazing. me if you can smell the taste the sage. You Why are you eating the burger with a knife and fork? Because I'm working after this and I don't want to turn up with burger around my face. And I will. I know what I'm like. Messy little puppy, aren't you? I am a messy little puppy. So you've got your little patty, so look, really easy to make. Now these are 500 um, grams that I've used. So you can get about four if you're doing a chunky one, but you can right. make them a bit thinner and get six out of them. <laughs> Lisa Snowden. <laughs> delightful. Oh, oh my goodness. Do you know what? I'm such me. a feeder. Watching people eat my food just brings me so much and joy. And I'm an eater, so we're a great pair. Christmas Perfect. dinner brioche. Perfect. So. so you pop your patties on. I like a griddle pan, because then you get that really authentic little sure. griddle vibe on there. Yeah. And you need to cook them for about six minutes each, each side, so 12 minutes. Um, now, this is a little tip that I've only just discovered. I don't know where I've been living. I used to cook with bacon all the time, but now I've started using parma ham. Do you know what? I'd never, ever think of in crisping a up a bit of parma ham. Oh, my God, it's a game changer. It really is. Eggs in the morning. Lovely. Put it on your eggs and your beans and your everything in the morning. It's delicious. It's so much lighter. It's lighter and it takes so little time. It just crisps up really easily. Could you make um, these into little meatballs as well? You could do meatballs, exactly. You can do whatever. That's the thing with turkey mints or any kind of mints, mm. you know, but I just think the turkey flavours with the sage and onion are just yummy. So, what we're going to do... This is like a really nice sort of pre... You know, the run-up to Christmas evenings when yeah. you're thinking, oh, we've got to have dinner, we're looking forward to Christmas Day. But Something like this. It's festive, isn't as it? As soon still? as December hits, I don't know what it is, I just crave turkey, mm. cranberry, all of those flavours. You know, if there's a sandwich that you can see that's like a Christmas sandwich, they I'd always go for that. Don't they? don't they? So, look, brie, because, of course, we're going to have brie on Christmas Day or a bit of cheese at some point. Mm. Stick that in the oven. So you put it in the oven the with the brie? Yeah, so you want to melt that. So inside you've got the melted brie. So, it's so good. So yummy. And look how, quick, look how quickly that got crispy. That's done. And you don't need to add oil to the pan because obviously it's already got a lot of fat. And you ain't got to worry about it being not undercooked or too cooked. It's exactly. parm ram, you can eat it like exactly. that anyway. It's just absolutely yummy. So that is off. And then you just got to build your burger, basically. And build that burger, Lisa. Now, listen, I don't really like cranberry sauce. That Neither much. do I. I don't either, which is very strange. I was just about to say, but in I, this, I don't really eat cranberry sauce. I don't eat brie. Oh. But put it all together. But you've had quite a week, haven't you, with your prawns and your brie? I know. I've got I'm not a bit brie. <laughs> um, but. Put, build all that together, yeah. and it's a taste it sensation. It really works. Well, when I was creating this burger, I oh. tried it with the, with the cranberry and without, and I think it just needs that tiny bit of sweetness. Mm. And even and if a, you're a little bit of extra moisture as well. Yeah, exactly. It's like a substitute to the caramelised onion. It, it, it totally is. And also, you can make it yourself if you want, but this is obviously... I just got it from a, from a jar, so it's super easy. No, it's so nice. And then a little bit... You know, you don't have to put the lettuce, but I like a little bit of green, a little bit of crispness. And plus, that's very healthy. It's so healthy <laughs> for you, darling. Just a little bit of goodness in amongst the naughtiness of the burger. We can write it off as a healthy dish now. <laughs> Pop your... Look at that melted brie on top of that turkey mm. burger. Pop that on there Do you know what I'm like telling that. you now? If you yeah. made this on MasterChef, I think this would have been my favourite thing you'd ever done. Do you think? Nah. Oh. 
I did do, oh, hold on, what am I going to do? Like crispy bacon, loads of oh. this lovely pancetta. You could use bacon, but I just love that. Look at that. Oh, the pancetta is so much better. It's Isn't it? Better. And it's that size as well. Yeah. Like if you put a few different pieces on, they will fall out, but yeah. hopefully that would stay. And then mayonnaise. This is a bit radical. Chuck it on, Lise. But I thought... <laughs> There's nothing low fat about this. I'd throw that on there. And then if you want to make it really like chefy, just add your little burger things there. But how delicious is that? Your festive burger. Some it parsnips, literally takes. Sweet potato so have you added anything to these or are they just Just a bit of oil, salt, yeah. pepper in the oven. You can put them in the air fryer if you want to as well, just to save a bit of time. But they do need to be coated with a little bit of oil if you put them in the air fryer because they go a bit dry. Mm -hmm. And a bit of honey on your parsnips. And there you go. Do you realise how much I love you? <laughs> Honestly, love you. I this love is you. absolutely <laughs> gold. Lisa, thank you, babe. You're welcome. Such Anytime. I'm eating all of that before I leave this studio. Absolutely, and it's I'm going to go back to in. the pancetta. Um, if you'd great. like to give Lisa's recipe a try, you can find all the details on the This Morning app. No, it's my go now. Now, listen. <laughs>